So it's the first day of the second Faroe Islands workshop and we're in one of probably the most iconic spots on the entire, in the entire area. We are at, oh God, how's this price pronounced? It's, uh, uh, how is, what is a bit? Tre, oh, I forgot the name of it. <laughs> tre, tre. So it's the first day of the second Faroe Islands workshop and we're at one of probably the most iconic places in the entire Faroes. We are at, because I can't pronounce anything here. It's a super intimidating place to shoot because you've got to get very close to the cliff edge in order to really separate the background cliff from the cliff that you're standing on. Beautiful, impressive scene. It's just, it's really, really cool. So like a lot of other trails in the Faroe Islands, you do have to pay a fee to come out here. Uh, I believe it translates to something like 30 US dollars, something like that, but it's well worth the money. It's absolutely incredible. The thing that makes this place look so incredible is the fact that the lake in the background is actually higher than the sea level. It's this weird optical illusion where it looks like the lake is like floating or something. It's really incredible. One of the things that I've been doing with my own shots is I will take the, the slow shot, ISO 100 shot, F11 for sharpness, but then I will also crank up my ISO and try to capture birds as they're flying through the scene. It adds that little extra something. I've been doing that a lot with a lot of these Faroe Islands shots, trying to capture the birds flying through the scene. Just gives it a sense of place little something extra. God, I love this place. Big silvery clouds, really clean light today. It's beautiful. Up and down, up and down. <laughs> well, you know, it's worth it because it looks so, so good. So epic. <laughs> epic has been the word of this workshop. Everything is epic. On the second day of the second workshop, we returned to Thrakenir, and we were greeted with absolutely incredible light. The third day of the second workshop, and we're on the island of Kelsoy. We're about to embark on a hike up into those clouds and hopefully those clouds are not still there when we're when we get to the top because otherwise we'll be photographing clouds from clouds which is not the most compelling photo in the world but it will be an experience also i've gotten sick and so i'm going to go hiking in the rain because that's always a good idea when you're sick so there's that What do you think, Marty? What's this going to be like? <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> doesn't look promising. Nothing's steep. What do you think of these conditions, Ness? A little bit cloudy. <laughs> clouds with a chance of clouds? Yeah. It'll hopefully go away. Hiked up the hill. Sure enough, there's clouds. It'll be interesting to see whether clouds break up or if they don't. The only way to know is to just kind of wait it out and see. One thing's for sure, we won't get the photo if we don't at least try. So we're up here, we'll see if we can get something. It's kind of a challenging thing, hiking when it's raining and you're sick because you have the choice of being really hot in your coat and sweating a lot or not wearing the coat, getting wet and now I'm, I'm already sick, so I have to choose between those two things. Either way, it'll be interesting to see what happens. It might just be this for a few hours, or the clouds might part, and we might get something special. So you only know if you try. You for sure won't get it if you don't try. Here we have our bedraggled, bedraggled group. <laughs> Woo we 
we gonna, what do you think? Are we gonna get good conditions? Yes. Oh, they're perfect. Oh. Yeah, these are great. These are We're great. the lucky ones, remember? Yeah. yeah, the lucky ones. I will say though, we got epic conditions last night and actually the night before, or was it last night? Was it last night? No, it was what? Dragon Air last night? Before. The first two nights of the workshop we got in the best light of the two weeks I've been here may have jinxed ourselves It's kind of like in golf. You never want to birdie the first hole. It's the first hole jinx. So Hopefully we haven't jinxed ourselves Maybe. Uh oh Somebody fell. So this trail is a muddy mess and we're wearing crampons, or some of us are wearing crampons, which helps a lot in this mud. Even with them though, it is slick. It's not like death defying, it's just a grassy slope, but it's just a grassy slope. If you slip, you're not gonna die or anything, but it's pretty messy and muddy. Anything as epic as this? This is definitely the best workshop I've ever done. So, did it clear? You lucky bastard. No, 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 no. I knew what I was doing all the time. Yes. <laughs> this is also the reason why the pharaohs are so green. See, you know, all this fertilizer down here. This is the only place I've ever been where sheep it is like a, it's a danger. It's a treacherous obstacle. You don't want to slip in the sheep pit and fall off a cliff. And you can do it here. What a view. Holy cow. All of the atmosphere, all of these clouds. Whew. It's incredible. So worth it. A little bit of a hike, but meh. No problem for someone in my stamina. <laughs> Says the guy with the dripping hat. Incredible. been shooting over on this one particular side that it's probably not as photogenic as where we're getting ready to go. See a lot of photos from here, kind of all from the same location. Well, it's good to get those shots. I always try to get something different as well. Haven't gotten a good shot that is different than the obvious yet, but God, there's lots of sheep here. <laughs> Haven't got anything that's different than the obvious shot yet, but I'm going to attempt it. Really cool place. So now we've hiked out to the point that's just kind of beyond the lighthouse out here on the end of Kelsoy. And look at this incredible scene. It is amazing. You have this little lighthouse surrounded by these giant, dramatic cliffs, and it is so incredible. There's a reason that you see a lot of photographs from this location because it is just so photogenic. What we've been doing is trying to, trying to wait for some of the light to just poke out and hit some of this green grass. There's uh, really heavy cloud cover today, 
still, but the sun has poked out from some of the gaps in between those clouds and it's just making for some really dramatic, incredible light hitting this green grass. It just pops and comes alive. It's beautiful. The trail coming out here is a little bit slippery and sketchy. We've only had a couple people in our group actually feel comfortable with coming out here. Hopefully more will kind of get their nerve here in a bit and come out and experience this, but understandably so if you don't feel comfortable hiking up here because it's a very muddy, slick slope. And without the crampons I'm wearing, I probably wouldn't have made it myself. <sighs> so beautiful up here. The cliffs that surround this place are just so impressive and so huge and so photogenic. I'm really excited about the images I'm getting, but I do want to make sure that I try to get at least some semblance of an original composition. It's kind of important to me to not just do what I've seen before. Otherwise I feel just like a cover band, a photography cover band. And I don't want to do that. I want to get something that's all me, if I can. So we've been up here for probably an hour, I'm guessing. Maybe, maybe longer, I guess. Just trying to wait out the clouds and see if we can get some direct light again. It's not looking like it's gonna happen, but it did happen for a second. Incredibly epic place. And so worth the muddy, sloshy, sheep shit filled hike up here. Absolutely beautiful. Faroe Islands in general are just big and dramatic and gorgeous. All of the hikes are very much worth it. Wouldn't you say so, Mass? Oh boy, yes. The thing is, when you go to the Faroes, you go for the hikes, the amazing epic landscape. They keep saying it, it's the same thing all the time, Nick. <laughs> it's just epic, like this is where epic belongs, that word. It can be sketchy for a lot of city kids, you know, or people who just like live in flat countries, but it's a playground playground. Yeah, I definitely wish I would have gotten a little better shape before coming, <laughs> but I feel like I'm going home in a little better shape than I showed up, minus the fact that I've eaten probably like 20 or 30 hot dogs since I got here, because it's kind of all there is to eat quickly. Uh, they, they do have bagels with egg and bacon too. That's true, but the, the eggs are weird in the bagels. <laughs> they're not like they're not like a scrambled egg, it's like a weird rubbery thing. Anyway, absolutely beautiful. If you get the chance to come to the Faroe Islands, I highly recommend it. It's a little bit logistically challenging to get here and it's a little bit expensive once you do get here. A little bit expensive, it's, it's very, very expensive. expensive. It's very expensive. You can't go on a walk without paying some money. But it's worth it because the memories are going to last for the rest of your life and the money that you would have spent in some other way is well spent. Spending it, getting to see stuff like this. It's absolutely epic. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe if you like this stuff. Here are the photos that we got during our time in the Faroe Islands, and we'll see you next time. Take it easy, everybody.